If somebody is very used to doing things on their own. It's like, you know, I don't need I don't need nobody. I got this. And in actuality, you do. You do. Um I feel like someone's looking for balance in a situation, okay? There's a cycle here that was completed. Oh, you guys got the lovers too. Um, we're going to put this one. I think it was upright. Some of you could be having trouble with the lovers here in reverse. Some of you could be having trouble with your uh, in your relationships. Someone is suffering from some sort of past trauma and that's the first thing i said was trauma there was some sort of cycle that was completed for you taurus in order to make room for something that new and exciting something that you are passionate about something that would be fulfilling for you okay so you have been gifted with something that's fulfilling but there's something that's not quite balanced with the lovers in reverse on this side and the six of pentacles on this side there's something you two are trying to meet each other in the middle for some of you um but something's not balancing out here somebody's just wanting equality Let's get some clarification and see what's going on. Your current energy, the four of wands at the bottom of the deck, Taurus. So this relationship or situation, whatever it is, for those of you who are wondering, this could potentially lead to marriage, okay? But there is some work that is needing to be put in. Someone is having to put in a lot of work, okay? Um, in order to balance something out. This four of wands um, represents joy, success, fulfillment, okay? Wish fulfillment, something that you're really passionate about. Um, a happy home life, a, a family, celebrations, reunions, okay? Let's get the six of pentacles. Holy Spirit, holy angels for my Taurus. What is the six of pentacles, please, for my Taurus? Someone's having to make, so Taurus, there's a decision that you're needing to make. You could be having, some of you, this could be job related. Um, sometimes our jobs affect our, our home lives. Someone could be, I'm getting, and for some of you, I'm getting this could be a work situation that could be affecting your relationship. That's what Spirit said. Um, because we have the two of swords and the balance. Let me look with the six of pentacles. Let me look a little closer. But what I can tell you, Taurus, whatever you're having to make a decision about, I feel like you're rushing it. Don't rush. Spirit said don't rush. With the Knight of Wands, you don't have all the facts about this. With this Two of Swords in reverse, you don't know everything you need to know. You need to do your, re uh, your research before making this decision. I don't know why I can't talk right, y'all. Why is the Two of Swords here in reverse? Why is the Two of Swords here? Oh my goodness, you guys, there's definitely a decision. The two of pentacles in reverse, this decision is definitely going to, whatever this decision is, this is going to have a lot to do with the balance, with your balance in your life, just your overall balance, love, life, work. What did I just say, you guys? I can't make this up. The wheel of fortune. This is blessings to come. This is money. This is luck. This is good fortune in the palm of your hand. I don't believe in luck. I say blessings, but that's what the meaning on the card says. With the temperance, this is all balance, you guys. The two of swords, the two of pentacles, and the temperance, those are all balanced. Those all speak of balance. They can all speak of balance. But you are having to make a serious decision Make sure you get the facts and whatever this is. Um, honestly, I feel like this is something that you're needing to learn from within. You already have the answers that you need to know. This is regarding somebody's personal life um, that has carried over into their relationship or their work. Um, can you tell me more, please? What did I just say? The King of Cups in reverse? And the five of swords. I feel like this is chaos. This is conflict that has carried over. Someone has taken some sort of emotional problems with them into their relationship or into their job. And someone is now looking for balance. You guys have all the twos out here. The two of wands, the two of pentacles, the two of swords. I think there's one, two. We're just missing the two of cups, you guys. That's it. Somebody is 
screaming for balance. Someone is just wanting to find their place. This is really someone trying to find their place in this world. Where do they belong? Where do they fit in? Someone just wants to know where they fit in. And that's why things are unbalanced in their relationship. Because they don't really know who they are. Wow. Why is the world here, please? The Page of Swords. Why is the Page of Swords here? Someone feels, because they may have been deceived in the past, that, that things may continue. I'm getting for somebody, they feel as if something, a cycle is going to be repeated. Someone feels as if, Things are not going to change. Like who, if you're with someone new, it's like this person, you may feel as if they're going to do to you what the person in the past did to you is what I'm getting. Um, clarify the page of swords and the five of cups in the first place. It's the page of swords and the five of cups. See, somebody feels rejected. Somebody is not seeing a gift. Somebody's being handed a gift in a golden platter and a golden cup. But they're rejecting it because I feel as if someone is afraid. Someone's afraid of stability with this King of Pentacles. Somebody's never been shown love, stability, support. Somebody's never been shown this way before and it scares somebody. Why is the King of Wands here? I saw that Two of Wands wanted to peek out because somebody wants to bring you equality. Someone wants to bring you balance. The Six of Cups, this could be somebody you know. It wanted to come out, but I'm going to put it back in. What's the King of Wands here? Why oh, is the Six of Swords? Somebody's in their head. I feel like somebody's moving away from something that... Somebody's, somebody's running away because they're afraid. Somebody's afraid of being left out in the cold. Somebody could be mentally scarred. Like someone may not have gotten, someone did not heal from something that happened in the past with uh, multiple parties involved. This could be family, friends, uh, relationships, but somebody really crapped on your emotions somebody made you feel worthless and i feel like because of that somebody genuinely does not know how to love like like you may know how to love but i'm getting that someone may pull away when someone is there and they really care about you you may pull away from this person because you don't know what it means to really have somebody there to care about you see with the ten of cups in reverse at the bottom of the deck i don't feel like somebody really understands what genuine joy love and happiness is why is the lovers in reverse oh goodness okay the devil came out you guys so there is definitely some sort of toxicity here that is needing to be let go of. I don't know if this is you or your person. Clarify the devil, please. This is you. I feel like this is you. I really do. Um, why is the three of cups here? Somebody found out something. Why is the Queen of Swords here? This person hurts you. This person hurts you, I see. Okay. Some of you could be dealing, um, for some of you, someone hurt you in the past. You could be taking it out on somebody that you're currently with. Or somebody that you're currently with you're trying to start a new cycle with this person or you're being asked to let go of somebody in order to start a new cycle with someone else okay or someone tried to start a new cycle but they're holding on to 
this from the past and I feel like they keep bringing it up to this person and it's causing it's causing emotional conflict it's causing conflict that's unnecessary even maybe with the queen of swords here it's like somebody has just had enough the queen of swords is uh she doesn't deal with nonsense this is somebody who's not dealing with no bs um why is the queen of swords here Because you worked hard to get to where you are. You worked really hard, Taurus. Um, you came a long way and you don't want anybody to mess that up. But I feel like you are really self-sabotaging your own gift, your own blessings. See, with the Knight of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck, you're sabotaging yourself. I truly feel that way. And if it's not you as the person you're dealing with, they could be sabotaging this relationship. Um... But there is someone who is sabotaging this relationship. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, tell me more about who this toxicity, what is this toxicity? Spirit said, you will find the answers you need within yourself, okay? Somebody is afraid to be alone. I saw the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, but I kept going. I didn't speak on it. Someone's afraid to be alone. I feel like, okay, thank you, Spirit. Some of you left a situation, you jumped right out of one situation and you jumped into another. This is not for all of you, but you left one situation and you jumped straight into another. Some of you did not take this time, Spirit said, to really heal yourself and to reflect on your own traumas and childhood wounds and relationship wounds. Somebody never took time to heal. Thank you, Spirit. Somebody never took time to heal, which is why this devil is out here with the lovers. There is true love here with this Ten of Cups. There is true love here. But somebody's going to have to be willing to work for it. With the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're so quick to cut somebody off when they're there to help you because somebody did not take time and heal. And that's what I'm getting for you, Taurus. Um, and if you continue to... To turn people away, it's gonna bring you, it's gonna bring you heartbreak. It's it's gonna leave you alone. You're gonna end up alone. Okay. Whoever is in this energy, it's gonna leave them alone and financially. Um, because I do feel like whoever is with you really wants the best for you. They want to see you do better, they want to see you grow, but somebody is not seeing some sort of toxic behavior. And again, I say if this is not your energy. This is the person that you're dealing with, Taurus. They're not seeing some sort of toxic behavior. There's something that is keeping this situation from being balanced out. But for a lot of you or for few of you, a lot or few, I'm getting more so than few. Somebody left a relationship too soon and they didn't take time to fully heal before they jumped into another relationship. And they, they're they with somebody that they really love and somebody that genuinely loves them. It's just you don't know how to love yourself first. And that's the problem because you didn't take time to heal yourself, okay? All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys. We got to get moving to my Capricorns. Uh, we're at 47. My Capricorns. So, for you guys, I channeled unity and progression, okay? Education, spirituality possibly even marriage okay breadcrumbs somebody may feel as if they are being breadcrumbs okay or an offer of money that comes with unreasonable conditions i feel as if somebody you could be receiving an offer that you may not be sure about Capricorn, somebody could offer you something work-related. This could be something in, in, in a friendship. A friend may offer you something that, that you are kind of iffy about, some sort of proposition. Just be careful. Be aware of any propositions that come your way. Make sure you read the fine print. Read everything clearly, carefully, in detail. Um, be very cautious about what you sign. Do not sign anything without reading it first, okay? I also channeled some sort of chaos, mind games. I channeled the Knight of Swords, which was drama without cause. Um, somebody is wanting to show off. 
with that jealousy, I had channeled somebody wanting to outdo someone. Somebody's in competition. I don't know why I channel competition, but somebody wants to be better. Somebody wants to, um, somebody just wants to show off their talent. And it's like someone is jealous of that. And somebody wants to outdo this person just for genuinely being themselves. Okay, so let's see. Oh, you guys, I forgot. I'm so sorry. I forgot to do my Virgos. I forgot to do my Virgos. Um, Hold on, you guys. Okay, y'all, I'm going to timestamp it. I forgot to do Virgo's Oracle, so I'm going to timestamp for 40. Mm. Virgo, 49 minutes. I meant not Virgo, but Taurus, 49 minutes. Give your relationship a chance. Retreat, healing family issues, true love, new love, trust, and faith. So a lot of whoever you... A lot of you who are stepping into a new relationship, this was fated to happen for you, Taurus. Um, a new love or recommitment to love is developing. So some of you are trying to heal, Taurus, a situation that um, you're unsure of. But your spirit guides are asking you to give this a chance, okay? So for whoever that's for, y'all, I'm sorry. I hated to interrupt your vibe like that, um, your read Capricorn. But somebody needed to hear that. That was an important message for somebody because, yes, that is your true love, Taurus. That This is your true love. You need to know that. Um, they also want you to know life review. Take inventory of your life and resolve to change or heal anything that is unbalanced. So make sure you're taking responsibility for whatever it is that happens or goes on in your life, Taurus. Okay, back to my Capricorns. All right, my lovelies. My beautiful Capricorns. For you guys, I had channeled the Hierophants, okay? And there's that Six of Pentacles. Okay, you guys, so somebody is really trying to work on themselves, maybe spiritually. Um, someone may be trying to um, really reconnect with spirit and with who they are. Somebody could be in some sort of official situation. Someone could be in some sort of legal obligation. You could be going through a uh, divorce, and I don't want to say that, but for some of you, you could be in the proceedings of or some sort of settlement or you've already had a divorce. Somebody's going through some sort of settlement, some sort of legal obligation, because we also have the Six of Pentacles in reverse here, and I channeled that with you guys as well. Somebody's having to sign something. Somebody's having to sign something. Be careful of what you sign. Capricorn. I'm going to get some clarification. There's some sort of deception somewhere because I see it with the angel romance oracles. At the bottom of the deck, the three of pentacles. This is your current energy. Okay. You could be in the process of showing off, showing off your talent, as I said, but somebody is jealous. Somebody's watching you show off. Somebody is watching everything you do. What is the Hierophant here for? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. The Ace of Swords. So, thank you, Spirit. Whatever you guys are going through, who those of you who are going through a legal obligation, you're going to be successful. We have the Chariot, the Ace of Swords. Okay? The Chariot. I'm sorry, not the Chariot, but the Hierophant with the Ace of Swords. Y'all, I've been up since 3 o'clock this morning. Okay? So, don't judge me. But whatever you guys are looking for in regards to this situation, so if something was imbalanced or unjust, I do feel like you're going to get the answers that you're looking for. Clarify the Hierophant and the Ace of Swords. Did you guys see how that just flew out? My goodness, the Two of Pentacles. Somebody is uh, about to balance out a situation. Things are going to be balanced because you're going to be letting this go. Somebody's going to be letting go of... People, places, things that no longer serves them. 
very heavy loads being weighed down with other people's problems somebody's ready to let that go and go after what they're truly passionate about that is what you are manifesting capricorn you are manifesting the life that you've truly always wanted and you're not really gonna let anybody hold you back at this point okay which initially may have been what started all this to begin with. If you're going through some sort of chaos, that's probably what started it because you stepped into your power. Why is the Knight of Swords here? What did I just say? The Four of Pentacles. This is you. I'm channeling two different energies. I'm channeling this is you being selfish with your emotions, your time, and your energy as I feel you should because I feel like You've been overburdened in the past. I feel like you should be. You should be stingy with your feelings and your emotions and your energy right now. Because now it's time for you to learn how to balance you back out. But I also feel as if this other person was stingy with their emotions or, you know, if you needed this person, they were not there for you. You know, this person could have always called you when they needed you and you picked up the phone every time and you were there for them. This person would never pick up the phone. This person was never there for you when you needed this person. Is there anything else, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? Three of Pentacles. And it wanted to come out in reverse. Why is the Three of Pentacles here in reverse? The Tower. Because there was something that you needed to see about this fakeness. There was some sort of interference going on here, whether this be in a third party relationship or a friendship, somebody that was gossiping that was not being genuine. I feel like this tower is it's already happened or it's going to happen. And this is to move you along away from this situation. And for a lot of you, this may not have even happened yet because we still have the six of pentacles here in reverse. So somebody feels as if they're being cheated out of something. Why is the Six of Pentacles here in reverse, please, for my Capricorns? Somebody's not seeing something as fair. The Eight of Swords, you guys, with the Four of Swords. Somebody is feeling as if they're in a mental prison. Somebody could really be struggling financially right now. I hate to say that, but somebody just does not maybe not even see how, you know, they're going to make it. Wow. Um... But never fear, your spirit guides are here. The page of cups at the bottom of the deck. It's an offer coming in for you, and we're going to clarify it. What's the page of cups, please? What's this page of cups? What's this offer, please? For my Capricorns. Oh, that was a lot. You guys, I love it. I love it. I cannot make this up. We have the king of pentacles and the fool. The King of Pentacles represents stability. This represents foundation. This is a solid foundation for you, Capricorn. The Fool represents a leap of faith. And not only a leap of faith, but you're being guided to take this leap of faith. The only thing that I see is maybe you in a lower energy. Let me see. Let me clarify. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here in reverse? What is the Queen of Pentacles? What is the Queen of Pentacles, please? The sun, exactly what I thought. Somebody's needing to come out of this energy. Somebody's not realizing that you are abundance. You are your fulfillment. You are your joy. You are your abundance. Like it's within you. You just got to let it come out. You just got to let it come out, let it shine. But you don't see that right now, Capricorn. You don't see that because you're in this mental energy. It's like you feel, you just feel broken. You feel broken mentally, physically, emotionally. You do not see all this potential that you have. You have all this potential and it's a gift. It's a gift. All you have to do is reach out reach out and grab it why is the page of wands here that's why this is why the queen of uh pentacles came out with the page of wands in reverse the page of wands is a very spiritual um i'll look at it as a spiritual card this is letting me know 
with the sun that you guys are not leaning necessarily. You're not relying towards your um, higher spirit, God. You're not really calling on God as much as you should. You may be calling more on man than you are calling on God. Somebody may just need to really understand. Spirit said, period. Look, period. That's it, poo. That's it. Here's your Ace of Pentacles right here. Why is the Page of Wands in reverse here? Whoever you were with in the past, I feel like we have the King of Swords with the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups that came out in reverse. Some of you could have been dealing with the narcissist. And also, I feel like for a lot of you, you had to, some of you are in this energy because some of you just had to give up, like, or you felt as if you had to give up. Some of you had to let go and give this person everything. Some of you actually had to sign away everything or just give this person, or you had to settle with this person. This person maybe not, maybe didn't deserve it. I don't know, but if they got it, they did because everything is just and everything is fair. But I feel as if somebody lost something in some sort of uh, proceeding, like some sort of legal issue. Um, there was some money lost here or somebody lost maybe a home. Somebody had to move or somebody may have uh, had to leave the kids or leave the car. But there's some sort of victory here that you are not seeing. There's something that you have to gain out of this situation that you are not realizing because right now I feel like you're just thinking about everything that you had to cut away. It's like everything you lost, you're not seeing what you have to gain here. You see the page of cups right here? This is your spirit God's offering you stability here with the uh, king of pentacles. But this is you over here with the king of swords, which is very um, head over heart. Someone's thinking very logical now, but I feel like someone is still mentally dwelling on something that was lost. Okay. All right, my lovelies, let's get your um, your oracles and see what they have to say. We have four cups at the bottom of the deck. Someone is feeling unsatisfied. Um, somebody was offered something that they didn't want. Like I said, someone had to settle in a situation that they may not have wanted to settle in. But it was really for your greater good in the end, okay? Um, let's get your oracles. We have healthy lifestyle, eat healthy diet, get adequate sleep, exercise regularly for optimal health. With this card, I'm channeling the eight of swords and the four of swords. They came out over here. When I said you guys are in a mental prison, somebody's not taking care of themselves. You guys need to make sure that you're eating healthy. Make sure you are drinking plenty of water. Do not lay around in depression. Find reasons to get up make yourself get up i don't care um if it's just to go outside and go to the mailbox make yourself get up out of the bed because some of you are laying there in depression not all of you some of you okay deception someone is wearing a false mask in this relationship let your friends help you and ask for and accept help and support from others let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. Somebody is trying to control the outcome of a situation that is not left. It's not meant for you to control. This is in God's hands. So somebody is needing to just go with the flow and leave it. Surrender to God. Leave it in his hands because you're not going to win. You're not going to win this battle. Okay. Whatever it is, it's over. It's said. It's done. This was really for your greater good. And the sooner you start to see it that way, the quicker things are going to start to turn around in your life. Play hard. Find time to laugh, goof off, and enjoy each other. Again, I feel like someone is depressed, okay? Put away the computer. Working less will help strengthen your relationship. Someone has just got their face buried in their phone it's like somebody will not get out of bed i'm just sitting here channeling somebody in bed that will not crawl out of bed and their face is in their phone with the covers pulled up and spirit saying stop it cut it out okay um 
And the reason you're doing this is because you're hurting. There was an interference. An external party is intruding this relationship. There was interference, okay? And this came out with the deception. We can't make it up, okay? So you know what you know. There's no changing this, but you have friends. The important thing is... At the very beginning of this read, you guys, this goes perfectly with what I channeled. You have support. It may not be the support you want, but there is someone there to support you, whether it be a family member, a friend, or a potential love interest that you don't even see, that you know is there, but you don't see because you don't realize you're not surrendering. You're not surrendering your will to his will. All right, I love you so much, my beautiful earth signs. I am so sorry that this was so long. Um, you guys make sure to watch both halves of the video. Um, I love you guys. Remember to, remember to be somebody's blessing and not their problem. Um, you guys, if this video resonated, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure to comment down below, like, share, subscribe, you guys. And I will see you guys back here next week. Bye.